first one we're going to talk about is HCA, which is a leading U.S. hospital group. It's founded in the 1960s and is headquartered in Nashville, Tennessee. It has grown through acquisition to own over 165 hospitals and 115 surgery centers in the USA and the UK. I think it's about 50-50, quite a big exposure in the UK. The group has a market cap of $31 billion, a price to earnings ratio of 11.59 and has no dividend yield. So HCA, quite a busy company. I think in the either confirmed or in the pipeline is about a one and a half billion dollars of further acquisitions, adding over two thousand beds. Um, the the U.S. hospital sector is very segregated. You know, mm. you've got a lot of charity type hospitals, yep. um, private entrepreneurs who will own a hospital. So I guess there is further opportunity for them to continue to accumulate. Oh no, you're right. And if you look at uh, geographically where they are in America, by no means have they saturated the, the continental U.S. yet. So mm. there's plenty of opportunity with, within America. Uh, I mean, you, you mentioned that big CapEx program they've got. If you look at what they've spent in the past four or five years, it's averaged about 540 million U.S. dollars. So one shouldn't get too carried away by the, 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 the prospect of such large CapEx. Um, the, the nature of the business tells you you're going to have to spend this kind of money if you want to get the kind of returns in the longer term. And you mentioned regulation. It's not just in South Africa where they face big reg regulatory um, headwinds. Um, let's take a look at that share price and we'll actually see the big f uh, pullback when Trump won the yeah. election and he was very negative on uh, the Health Care Act and Obamacare yeah. and so on. Um, and that was negative for the share price. But he seemed to struggle to push things through uh, through the judicial system and so on. And uh, we then saw the recovery. That's right. Look, as far as things uh, are, are going in, in Congress, they've got part of it through. And it's, 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 it's going to take a bit of time. I mean, he seems to be absolutely determined to try and wreck Obamacare and replace it with something else. And from what I've seen, the something else isn't going to be as comprehensive or as good for, for the lower uh, end segment of, of, of the market which is, is um, catered for by a variety of hospitals in the U.S. So I think, you know, this will probably be a bit of a, a hangover uh, for the sector for, uh, for the foreseeable future until that logjam is sorted out. Mm. But over the long run, so we've got a $30 billion market cap business. It's the biggest hospital group in the U.S. Yeah. By U.S. standards, that's not a very big company. So there is room to expand and, as we say, co consolidate. We do expect demand for their products to continue to increase as the U.S. population is certainly getting wealthier. Um, we, you know, their economy is growing nicely and is certainly getting older. Room for expansion outside the U.S., within the U.K., even around the globe. Are you fundamentals look pretty good? Yeah. Uh, P.E. ratio of 12. It's cheap. Yeah. Are you so hot or not? I, on this I would one? be hot on this one. Yeah, mm. definitely. I'm going to agree with you. I do like the sector, and uh, nice to be invested in the biggest player.